Hey Shopify users, if you would like your multi-column section on DOM theme to swipe on desktop like this instead of the default look like this, please keep watching and I will show you how we can achieve this with minimal code changes. Okay, so first thing first, always make a backup of your theme before you're trying to make any code changes. So I already have created a backup of my theme. You simply just go in here, duplicate. When that theme duplicates, just go ahead and rename the theme to whatever you want. So um, what we are going to do first is make some code changes. So go into edit code. And in here, you are going to look for a file called multicolumn.liquid, which is going to be in sections. And then multicolumn.liquid, I have it open already right here. And in here, we are going to go to line all the way down actually where the schema is. So we are going to add a setting in here. So right below this, let's hit enter and I'm gonna paste this so uh, like this. So it's swipe on desktop, default is false, and the label is swipe on desktop. You can have the label say something else. So right here you can see swipe on desktop showed up and uh, next let's go back in multicolumn.liquid and go to around line 32. So where you see this slider component and then you see this UL in here. So if you go in further towards the right you are going to see an option where it says this right here if section does setting swipe on mobile slider slide mobile greek this so condition starts from this if and ends on this end if so we are going to replace this condition with few other conditions Let's just get rid of this. And then here I am going to paste a different set of conditions. And right here, and of course I will provide you this code in the description. I'll put a link in the description where you can access this. So what I have put in instead of that one condition is this. So swipe and mobile, actually not further starting here. So it is, if it's mobile or desktop, I'm adding the slider class, then next one, if it's mobile and it's greater than one slide it does this so there's like three conditions in here to give a better view of it i can show you what that is it's these three conditions right here but i have them in one line in there of course so after that i am going to save and after that we are going to do another change in here Let's go to a line around 91 right here. This is condition, swipe on mobile. After this, add or section of settings, swipe on desktop. This, all right. And now save. And let's see what we have so far. We are going to 
turn on swipe on desktop and save so you can see that still there's no slider but the images underneath they're not showing so it kind of did something they are out of the view but we don't have a way of scrolling on desktop so what we are going to do now is let's go back to the code and we are going to create a custom CSS file in here so right where your assets are uh, let's create one file called so we can name this multi column uh, section dash multi column slider dash custom and the extensions already here so add asset now that we have that file we need to reference that file in here and then we'll add some code to it so how we are going to do that is right above on the top of this multi column the liquid copy this and then paste after these files so these are the default files loading so we want to up, um, overwrite some stuff so you want your CSS to come after so I am going to paste that and then I'm going to change this to section multi column slider custom. That was the name of the file we just created. Save. And after that, let's go to this file here. And that will be right here. So this is blank. So in here, I'm going to paste some code and, and now save. And now let's take a look at this reload. And there you go. We have some errors showing. And now if I click, there we are. So let's check full other widths. I'm going to bring this down. That was desktop. Keep coming down. And around this area, you see the, the arrows disappear. And then keep going down. I believe it's like 990 where they disappeared. And then they appear around 750. So there's some issue that the arrows disappear. Then mobile is still the way that the default is and you might have also noticed that the way these slides are sliding is different i'll explain a few things in a little let's first solve the arrow issue and how we are going to solve that is why that is happening there is a css class in here that is has this important on it which overrides everything and it is in the base css file so what we can do is instead of going in getting rid of it from base.css because that might be getting used in other places so we don't want to mess up other uh, parts of the website so um, what we are going to do is we could just remove that class from these arrows so let's go back in the code and we will go back to where those buttons are in multi column.liquid file and around here these are the buttons right here and right around here medium height so yes uh, let's remove this medium height from here 
and then we save and now if we go back take a look refresh you can see the arrows showed up now arrows are there on all widths all right cool so now t let's talk about a, a few things here um, one thing is this solution that I provided is like the best I could choose in terms of with the least amount of code you know so there's a few things in here like you see the scroll how it scrolls so it's not scrolling like maybe one whole item so like it doesn't mobile to have it scroll like each item uh, the way this code is written it's gonna take quite a bit of changing to for it to scroll that way so that's one thing and another thing is here this image is fine you might be wondering that you know it starts to get kind of pretty big and you know till here it's fine but around this area it's trying to get big and like if I go all the way like here so you might say that hey hey, wanna, what if we want to show three images here so that's another limitation we have to stick to the same number of items in here and and one last thing is that down here you will see when we scroll go to mobile you will see that it goes two three four there's four items but when I go on desktop it thinks that it's three items and again this is also again based on how it's calculating the number of items and dimensions so the code that's written in there was just for mobile and we somehow made changes to get it working for desktop but in order for this to be perfectly working um, it's gonna take a lot more coding and I don't think anybody wants to do that so um, one solution I could provide if this number is a big deal for you what you could do is you could just get rid of this from here right in here this is where that number is right here that and there's a slash and then this is the total you could just totally get rid of this like this and so like this and then you could also if you want make those arrows maybe a bit bigger so they look better so right here the the buttons they have these svgs like this to the side this svg right here and uh actually it's that this below so you can see what's going on all right right here and then you could just add the same class and overwrite this height to be say something like what write that you see how the arrows got bigger so there's no caption so maybe they look better so you can do something like this if you have a problem with those numbers so um, let's also take a look at if we go here and we can just turn off this desktop so maybe some places you want to keep the old layout and right here you can see that this was the old layout how he, it puts the images on top of each other and um, so you still have the ability to do that and one more thing I would like to mention is that do not use swipe on desktop if you have say three images so if you have three images just you know they will stack together as three and you know you have to make sure that you have more than three images for this swipe on desktop to work 
So that's it guys, you have a swipe on desktop for your multi-column and if you like the video, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and I will see you in the next video.